It's one of those things that isn't always brought up about home study. What are you going to do with all those rocks? If your homestead is your property, one option may be to take your rocks and use it as a base of a road. As you put the rocks down, level them out, pack them in, and then put gravel over top and have a pretty good road. Another great use for the rocks, if it's your property, is fill. Use it to fill in holes, bring it almost up to the level of other areas by dumping the rocks there and then adding soil on top. Great use for rocks. A third option for all those rocks would be a rock pile. Not a problem if you're in the country. Maybe a little bit of a problem if you're limited in space. Or if the property isn't yours, uh, the person that owns the property might not appreciate a giant pile of rocks. The nice part about making a rock pile is if you do need the rocks for fill or a base of a road, you have them later. This is one of the rocks we've picked. It's about six foot by four foot. With large rocks, keep in mind they take up volume. As you remove them from the soil, you'll have a large hole to fill. It's always best to have some other soil on hand to fill in large areas. It's also a good idea to have a couple loads of gravel on hand. You may need it to fix a road on your property, on your homestead. Or you may have an area that starts to erode away, uh, maybe where animals frequently come in and out. Having gravel on hand and topsoil on hand is always a great thing on a homestead. Especially if you pull a large rock out and you need to fill in that hole you just made. Thank you very much for watching.